everyone and mabuhay welcome back to my channel sides of sai for today's video i am going to talk to you my top 16 favorites for miss usa 2020 i've been extremely busy talking about the miss universe philippines and the bini bini filipinas candidates and i haven't realized that the miss usa pageant will be next week already if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button down there i don't know anything much of these girls but i just went to missusa.com and checked their official headshots and there were 16 candidates that caught my attention let's check it out First candidate, we have Miss Alabama, Kelly. Very gorgeous. They have been sending a lot of strong candidates for the past few years. I've been a fan. Kelly is a 22 year old, earned a Bachelor of Arts and Communication, minor in marketing, summa cum laude from Auburn University. Wow, very impressive. She lost her father at the age of 15. She has been a supporter of the American Cancer Society for the past seven years. Very good advocacy, Kelly. Really excited for you to see on that stage. Next candidate, we have Miss California. California has always been on my list. The last time they won was in 2011, Alyssa Campanella. And they are actually ranked two for having the most wins in Miss USA next to Texas. We have Alicia very interesting that she was actually born in London and it's always her dream to compete at the Miss Universe but due to her immigration status she's unable to do that and now that she's an American citizen she will be representing California so living that American dream Alicia excited for you as well next we have District of Columbia they have been sending very strong candidates I'm such a huge fan. This year, they're sending Sierra. She's a 28-year-old accomplished singer who not just worked for the White House, but also performed there. Such a very talented candidate from DC. She also served as an ambassador of two nonprofits, Running Start and She Should Run. Whew, very empowered. If you can remember, DC had a back-to-back -back win way back in 2016 and 2017 I love those girls. Very impressive. Deshauna and Kyra. But I super love Deshauna Barber. <laughs> I'm always a fan of her. In fact, I even memorized her answer during her time. As, As a woman, woman in the United, United States, States Army, Army. I, think I think it was, it was an amazing, amazing job. job. By, by our, our government, government to allow women, women to integrate into every, every branch of the military. We, we are just as tough as men. As, as a commander, as a commander, as a commander, as a commander of my unit, I'm powerful. I am dedicated. dedicated. And it is important that we recognize that gender does not limit us in the United States, States Army. Army. Love you, Deshauna! Next on my list, I have Miss Florida, 28-year-old Monique. She's from Naples, Florida, and she spends her time dancing as a professional, professionally trained ballerina. She's a graduate from the University of Texas with a degree of nutritional science. As Miss Florida USA, she has chosen a platform, Be Kind to Your Mind, focusing on mental health and mental illness and helping others understanding the difference. Next, we have Hawaii, Samantha. She's the daughter of a US Army Airborne Ranger Colonel. She founded Time to Talk Hawaii, a program designed to help teens to communicate effectively and to grow into confident young adults. She's also in the entertainment industry as an actress and a model. She appeared in television shows on ABC, CBS and HBO, as well as feature films for Sony, Lifetime, and Lionsgate. Did you know that Miss Universe 1997 was from Hawaii, Brooklyn? And who can forget her very iconic answer? If there were no rules in your life, for one day, 
and you could be outrageous, what would you do? I would eat everything in the world. You do not understand. I would eat everything twice. <laughs> Thank you, Miss USA. I agree with you, Brooke. I also love to eat everything in this world twice or maybe thrice. Go Hawaii. Next, we have Miss Illinois, Olivia. She attended Northwestern University where she graduated with honors in biochemistry and Slavic languages. Mm, Slavic languages. She was born and raised in Illinois, but she's proud to be a first generation Polish American. If she will be crowned Miss USA, she will continue her advocacy for female equality. Excited for you, Olivia. Next, we have Miss Indiana, very beautiful and fresh 23 year old Alexis. She's a graduate from the George Washington University in 3.5 years with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Communications and Broadcast Journalism. I can't wait to see her on the Miss USA stage because she must be a really confident woman. With her Break the Mold tour, she gives talks inspiring others to chase their dreams and break through societal pressures. Wow, I love to be in those talks. And fun fact, she was actually in top 60 for the 2021 Sports Illustrated Swim Search. Very sexy. Go sizzling, Indiana. Next on the list, we have Miss Louisiana, Mariah. She's a graduate of Southern University with a degree in psychology. She's currently pursuing her master's degree in school counseling as she aspires to be a high school counselor and a valuable coach. Of course, she enjoys making YouTube videos that focus on encouraging women to embrace their natural beauty. You can also find her coaching valuable or modeling. Sporty plus beauty, Miss Louisiana. Next, we have Miss Maryland Taylor. She's a travel enthusiast who visited almost 20 countries and she created Europe's first interactive museum in Barcelona, Spain. I'd love to be there. Since the age of 17, Taylor has supported herself as a full-time model. Did you know that she's a child of a parent suffering from addiction? So Taylor would like to advocate to youth the importance of breaking the cycle through decision making. And fun fact, she's an internationally certified yoga teacher while in Koh Phangan, Thailand. So what Did you know that the last time that Marilyn won Miss USA was in 2012? She was the first runner-up. Nana Merriweather, but when Olivia Colpo won Miss Universe, she automatically became the Miss USA at that time. Next, we have Massachusetts, the home of one of my favorites, Miss USA, Susie Castillo. I'm such a fan of her, especially when she's doing some pageant talks with Shandy Finnessy. I always watch their videos. This year, they're sending Sabrina. She's a performance activist passionate about using all art forms to share diverse stories and speak to current social issues. She works as a professional freelance actress and also in a higher education as a human resources specialist at Ridge State University. A fun fact, she used to perform as a background vocalist of a multi-award winning Mariah Carey. Next, we have Miss New York, Andrea. She's a speaker, writer, and philanthropist. She immigrated to the United States at the age of seven and faced many challenges living in an inner city and not speaking English. Through her initiative, More Than Enough, she serves an, as an advocate for inner city and underprivileged kids. Andrea is a graduate of St. John's University with a degree in public relations. 
And fun fact, she represented the United States in Miss Earth 2017. I think she was one of the semi-finalists. So a lot of Filipinos actually know her and hoping that she will be crowned as the new Miss USA. And lastly, did you know that the first ever Miss USA winner was from New York? That was way back in 1952, so good luck Miss New York! Next, we have Miss North Carolina, home of the reigning Miss USA, Chesley Crest. This year, they're sending 22-year-old Jane. She's a fun-loving, free-spirited girl who has worked and lived in various cities around the country, and she even studied in France. Jane is excited to partner with Home Again Foundation, where she uses her platform to foundationally change the state of the homeless community across America. And fun fact, she traveled 22 countries across North America, Europe, and Asia. And she also has a gluten-free bakery named after her name, Jane's Gluten-Free Bakery. Look at that radiant face. Very glowing. Good luck, North Carolina. And we have Miss Pennsylvania, Victoria. She's an entrepreneur and she's actually the president of her women's fashion company. In three years, she has grown her online business created in her dorm room to multiple storefronts with 20 employees. As a classically trained opera singer, Victoria has won national and international awards for her performances. But did you know that she's actually facing multiple health conditions in her youth but Victoria developed courage, determination, resilience and the passion that she carries in all areas of her life. You can do it Miss Pennsylvania! Next is Rhode Island, the home of Miss Universe 2012 Olivia Colpo. This year they're sending Jeanette. She's a 25 year old from North Providence, Rhode Island, and she's been dancing all her life. She's a track and field athlete with a four-year athletic scholarship from Post University. She obtained her Bachelor of Science in Human Services in 2017. Jeanette works full-time as a juvenile correctional officer. And fun fact, did you know that she's a member of a Screen Actors Guild for over 20 years? She have appeared on an episode of Law & Order CI as a murder victim and as the voice of Baby Bear on Blue's Clues. I love Blue's Clues. Another remarkable woman from Rhode Island is Anya Garcia. She joined Miss USA 2015 and won a second runner-up when Olivia Jordan won. And on that same year, she also joined Miss Grand International, but she represented her native country, Republica Dominicana. And she actually won the title, but she resigned after some issues, after her trip in South Sudan. Next, we have Miss Tennessee Justice. She's a 26 year old and she's a director of media and branding for several nonprofits. She also founded Justice for Women, a nonprofit women's organization dedicated to expanding the modern definition of feminism. She's also very talented. She's a trained vocalist and violinist. She'll just love anything creative. Her parents are traveling ministers who decided to homeschool her at an early age and this allowed her to travel with her parents visiting 14 countries and 38 states. And fun fact, she was able to raise $35,000 in just two weeks to afford life-changing surgery. If justice will not win, she will definitely look for that justice. Last but not the least, we have Miss Texas. The state with the most number of crowns for Miss USA. This year they're sending Taylor. She's 24 year old, a recent graduate with a double major 
in communications and broadcast production. She is fluent in an American Sign Language and describes herself as tenacious, devoted, goofy, and a tomboy at heart. She has proven herself a leader on and off the court. Sadly, she experienced domestic violence and Taylor would like to help other survivors transition into a normal life. Her mission statement and Miss Yes A is the power to a positive mind and taking the road less traveled. And fun fact, well it's not really fun, but she had a car accident months before she won Miss Texas USA. You can do it Miss Texas, get another crown for your state. That is it everyone, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you had fun. My top 16 lists were just solely based on their pictures online, but things may change, my list will change after the preliminary competition by November 6, US time, so that must be November 7 here in Asia, so I'm looking forward to watching that preliminary competition and I would love to see all the girls so I can fix things up on my list as well. Thank you once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hit that like button down there. Kapkun kap, sawadee kap, and mabuhay!